And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Great program today and more exciting car news from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. With me on the Car Clinic hotline now is Al Oppenheiser, Chevrolet Camaro Chief Engineer. Get this, folks. We're going to learn today a lot about what's going on at GM. Al, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Glad to have you in the house. Thank you, Bobby, and thanks for having me on. The Chevrolet Performance lineup, led by the Camaro and the Corvette, have turned a lot of heads in the automotive industry. And heading into 2018, share with our car clinic listeners and viewers what you're most excited about on the Chevrolet Performance front. Well, the Chevrolet Performance cars, as you say, have never been better. Um, Very healthy. Uh, Last year, we introduced the Camaro ZL1 1LE, which was the fastest track car track Camaro we've ever done, and uh, sitting right next to it, his big brother, is the new ZR1 Corvette with a 755-horsepower engine. Well, uh, with the recently revealed 2019 Corvette ZR1, and uh, as I understand, the 2018 Camaro Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Edition due out this spring, they've generated a lot of interest among enthusiasts and consumers Give us the 30,000-foot view of what makes these vehicles so special. Well, these vehicles, I always say, they're not vehicles that people need. They're vehicles that people want. They're a purchase of passion. And when you can find the passion where uh, it meets the customer demand, for instance, our 50th anniversary celebration of the Hot Wheels, you know, most of us are old enough to have played with Hot Wheels growing up. And uh, Mattel actually built 16 Hot Wheels 50 years ago, and the first one they built was a die cast of a 67 blue Camaro. And so they came to us and wanted to celebrate their 50 years in the business and uh, partner up and do a, a, a Hot Wheels. It's got this beautiful crush orange Hot Wheels that t- harkens back to the old Hugger Orange. I remember. It. I remember it well. Uh, as chief engineer, Al, for Camaro, share with our car clinic listeners and viewers uh, some of what goes into designing and building a road and track worthy performance vehicle like the Camaro. Well, we've got a, a big legacy to live up to, so we're always trying to push the envelope. So we take what worked well in, say, the last generation, like the Z28 was a track monster. and. And uh, we look at the good things that are in the current car, like the fact that we've taken over 250 pounds out of it from the last generation, and uh, the power that's available. Uh, we shoot to be the best track Camaro ever. And of course, it's a little bit pretentious for us to think we can compare ourselves to Porsche and BMW and McLaren and so on. But in, in, in reality, we've come so far with performance that those are the vehicles that we're now being compared to, and in a lot of cases, we're beating them on the track. So we've really done a great job putting our performance prowess to work. So uh, share with me, Al, and our listeners, have you actually had the Camaro out on the track yourself? Absolutely. Um, I spent a lot of time on the track. We've got guys that drive way better than I do. Um, they, they could easily uh, challenge professionals, but... Uh, uh, the thing that works for Camaro is that we've got a range of driving skill from mine, which probably matches up with uh, most weekend race drivers and uh, maybe some of the better media uh, drivers, all the way up to guys that rival some of the professionals. Um, and we get together as a performance team and talk about the vehicle ride and handling and performance attributes from each driver, and we make the best solution that works with anybody. Because if if my ride and handling expert can go out and blister a Nürburgring lap, but the customer can't do it, that doesn't make it fun for the customer. They get scared to drive the car. So we make it approachable for anybody. That's a good point. We're talking with Al Oppenheiser, Camaro Chief Engineer from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. So, Al, another quick question. Uh, during these lap times, uh, are the electronics fully engaged, or are they in stages? Are there different track settings? There are. We actually uh, leave it up to the driver preference. Most of the drivers, as you can imagine, turn everything off because they're purists. But we're getting to the point where Technologies have advanced such that, like our 10-speed automatic transmission that comes in the ZL1, it's actually the fastest version of the ZL1 we make, faster than 
uh, everything off and, uh, you know, call them the nannies, everything turned off. But for those that aren't expert drivers, we've, you can dial in as much control, uh, whether it's the traction or engine torque, as you need to feel safe at your performance level. Well, just a couple of final questions. What's the horsepower rating, and if you don't mind sharing the compression ratio on the Camaro Hot Wheels edition? The uh, Hot Wheels comes in the 2LT and the 2SS. The 2LT is our Turbo 4 and our V6, and the 2SS is the uh, LT1. They don't come in the high-performance packages because it's just a special model with a lot of uh, Hot Wheels badging and uh, identifiers on it. The uh, V6 is, uh, the turbo is 275 horsepower. The V6 is 335 horsepower, and the V8 LT1 is 455 horsepower. Compression ratios is uh, 11 to 1 on the V8. On the V6, 2-liter turbo is 9.5 to 1. The um, V6, 3.6 liter uh, variable valve timing is 11 and a half to one. And uh, I'm actually gonna correct myself on the, the regular LT1, 6.2 is also 11, 11 and a half to one. Wow. Well, with those kind of compression ratios, and especially folks are realizing with the turbo, when you have beyond eight, eight and a half, and nine and a half, uh, you're pushing the envelope because you have the pressure from the turbo uh, and, and almost equal by the pressure from the compression ratio itself, the, the geometric compression ratio. So, Al, no wonder that these cars are competing so well on Nuremberg Ring. So I want to congratulate you, and I, I know behind closed doors and in those meetings and uh, and the tool and die part, the design, uh, GM and, and your team has done a, a fantastic job. But the Hot Wheels Anniversary Edition Camaro has to be to die for automobile. Uh, where can our consumers or our listeners go for more information and maybe some pictures of that vehicle? You can find pictures of the, uh, the beautiful Crush Orange Hot Wheels Camaro on uh, the Chevrolet.com website. You can also find it on the uh, Mattel website under the Hot Wheels section. They've done a good job uh, cross uh, marketing the car for us. Um, and your listeners can order one starting February 1st. Um, we're ready to build them. There is no limit to what we'll build. Uh, we'll build as many as desirable. And I can tell you, 50 years doesn't happen very often for anything or anybody. And the fact that um, 50 years will end after this model year, it'd be a great one to buy and put in your in your uh, collection. Well, definitely uh, appreciate your time. Al Oppenheiser, Camaro Chief Engineer from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Al, it was a pleasure talking with you, and I look forward to actually seeing one of the cars on the showroom floor and perhaps driving one. Thanks again for joining us on Bobby Likas Car Clinic today. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for having me on.